Happy Friday, welcome to the three things I learned in SaaS sports tech and live events. This week we're gonna cover the three most common mistakes I see entrepreneurs make when mentoring. So we've been doing this for 14 years now. I do a little bit of angel investing and a little bit of mentoring, but I spend most of my time on Ticket Manager. And as such, I've seen hundreds of businesses over the past decade plus, most of which have failed, a few of which have been great successes. There's a lot of content out there that talks about mistakes entrepreneurs make from people who haven't been entrepreneurs, you know, or they have some kind of conflict of interest in the fact that they are trying to invest in a business, they're a banker or the like, or they're trying to get involved in the business. I'm none of those things in offering this. I'm just giving you the three mistakes that I made that I see made regularly in the hopes that you can avoid them like most of the three things. Number one, entrepreneurs are overly defensive. It makes total sense. This is our baby. You feel like you're being attacked quite often when people are telling you this isn't going to work out. You have all that fear and all that pressure sitting on your shoulders. So sometimes when you sit down with a mentor and they ask you a question you've heard a thousand times, you may come across like a know-it-all or you may come across a little bit defensive. And unfortunately, that's not going to bring you the outcome you're looking for. The outcome you're looking for in these situations is to gather information, is to put down the defense and listen as much as possible and try to poke holes into what you're trying to build. If you sit down with a mentor or somebody who's done it before, or even an investor, and you know it all, or you're overly defensive, I can assure you that the only outcome you're gonna get is that it's going to cost you money. Because nobody wants to offer advice to know it alls That's number one. Three biggest mistakes, number two. They take advice from the wrong people. Uh, being an entrepreneur, a mentor, an angel investor or a VC has grown in prominence over the last 15 years. It's very sexy. It's the joke we used to make when we moved to LA that everybody's an actor, dancer, producer, whatever. Well, now everybody's an angel investor or a mentor. You look at some of these programs, you have hundreds of mentors. And it's interesting because none of them have, very few of them have actual experience operating a business through that process. One of the easiest ways to see how a business is going to do is by looking at who they're taking advice from. It's difficult because you want to be surrounded by people that are friendly and that people who are loving and you just get a lot of bad news in your first couple years of being an entrepreneur. It's really important that you find people who have done this before and who will tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. When you find those entrepreneurs, the ones who aren't defensive and the ones who take advice from the right people, well, now we're on the right track. That's number two. Number three, they partner with their friends. I get it, we all wanna partner with our friends. There's so many great stories of that. A lot of exceptions of where that's worked out ter terrifically. But what you're really looking for is somebody who compliments you very well. I'll use a very simple example in Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. What works better than working with your friends is working with people who are the absolute best at the things that complement what you're trying to do. That doesn't mean you can't work with your friends, but maybe you need a different partner who's gonna be the executive level as you. Every single seed stage investor we talked to was very concerned about the fact that three of us were friends and we were the three amigos and it was split three ways. They told us it was a big mistake and it was a big mistake. It's hard enough as is, I know we all wanna have our friends around, but it's really important that as you're starting this business, your executives that you're bringing in are bringing more to the table. Maybe that is your friend who can do that, but you gotta make sure you got the best A player that's with you in the foxhole. Those are the three common mistakes that I see when I talk to entrepreneurs, especially through mentorship. If there are more that you can think of, please offer them in the comments. And as always, reach out with any questions. If we can be of help with the three things, we're certainly looking to do so. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.